Hello everyone, this is Alcabir the Analyst, and today I just wanted to talk some Philadelphia Eagles news. And um, yeah, there's a lot of news coming out about the Eagles. Dara Burnett is showing interest from other teams. I heard there's a team in the AFC that is very interested. Not sure which team. Will Parts. Will Parts is on the trading block. Um, Nathan Gary is on IR. Uh, this is Alcabeta Analyst. Let's get to it, man. So, um, yeah, so first and foremost, like I said, I just want to get into the Philadelphia Eagles news today. Um, I ain't going to lie. It's pretty like, slow news days. Just a lot of trade rumors coming out. So I just wanted to talk about my team, obviously. That's what I got the most knowledge on. So first, let's get into Will Parts. Will Parts is on the trading block. Um, What I think about that is that I'm starting to believe we we giving these young guys a shot. I want to see Kayvon Wallace on the field. I do. And um, since Will Parts been back, to be fair, his first game against Baltimore, he didn't do too bad, to be honest. Um, Mark Andrews barely got anything off. He he did pretty good. But Mark Andrews, if you look at his stats, he's been having a pretty average season. So he wasn't doing as good anyway. But Will Parks did what he was supposed to do. Didn't really hear anything from Mark Andrews that game. Second game, New York Giants. Not going to lie, man. Evan Ingram was smoking his boots. But um, Evan Ingram, just he just couldn't execute. He couldn't execute. What I mean by that is we could have literally lost that game because of Will Parks. If we would have lost that game because Will Parts got beat about three, four yards, we would have been highly upset. We would have been highly upset. But unfortunately, well, unfortunately for the Giants, he couldn't execute. But fortunately for us, you know, he didn't execute. But Will Parts was getting his boots smoked. He was. I won't say he's not the same because of the injury. We only evaluate him off of two games since he's been with the Eagles. So um, can we get some value out of him? Maybe. We, we Maybe. Maybe. But, yeah, ho hopefully, you know, if we trade him, it's the best move in our interest. Hopefully we get a player, some type of linebacker or something or some type of pick in the draft that how we, I hope, use right. But, yeah, that's what I think about that. So, second, let's get into um, Derek Burnett. Uh, teams got interest in him. Teams have interest in um, Derek Burnett. I would say if teams have interest and we can get an established linebacker or even – to me, to be honest, another corner, you have to make that move. You have to make that move. Derrick Barnett has three and a half sacks, two against Cincinnati, one against the Giants, and a half a sack against the 49ers. So um, he's been kind of productive. But to me, Josh Sweat need burn, man. We seen what he did that first game. And... Because Derrick Burnett is your first round pick, you gotta see what he can do. And um he he's been okay. But sometimes, man, he he disappears a lot. Derrick Burnett will disappear on you. You're like, where's the pressure from Derrick Burnett? Where is the pressure from Derrick Burnett? Sometimes he don't bring it, sometimes he do. Not gonna lie. He's just too inconsistent. And if you can get good value out of him. Why not? Why not get good value out of him? Um, uh, definitely, if we once again could get a linebacker or another corner or something like that, somebody that can help big play slay. Why not? Why not try to get a you know a established big running back? If we could, we need a bruiser back, man. We just need something that can get us over the edge. Um. Also, if we make this move, I hope Howie Roseman knows this, that we have to 
um, get a defensive end because obviously Brandon Graham is at the latter years. If we trade away Derek Barnett, we'll we'll be kind of depleted at the uh, defensive ends. To be honest, we we'll be depleted. Jannar Avery, I didn't even mention him. I believe he's on IR as well. So we'll be very depleted at that. Um, at the defensive ends, we'll be depleted like for the future one. Um, yeah, but if, if he's if he's getting interest. Got to look into it, man. Derek Burnett, he's been kind of a disappointment. Once again, he has flashes here and there, but I don't know. I like Josh Sweat better, to be honest. Um, I know a lot of Eagles fans agree, agrees with me. Maybe some don't, but I believe Josh Sweat is better. And he's been taking snaps from Josh Sweat because, once again, that's supposed to be your first round pick. And he's supposed to be producing this more of a political thing if anybody this is like not even my schedule but if anybody should be traded it should be jj ortega whiteside travis fogum is doing what we thought jj ortega whiteside can do unfortunately jj ortega whiteside is not doing that why not trade him why not trade him but maybe you if you got a guy that only got two catches for what, like 45 yards, he got a touchdown off of Miles Sanders fumble. It'd be hard to trade a guy like that that doesn't have no production. But he is young and maybe he could develop. Maybe a team would look at that. He is a second round pick. I don't know. I don't know. And now what we all been waiting for, this the same point I made with Will Parks and I'm going to make this with Nathan Gary. Nathan Gary it's on IR. Eagles fans, we got what we've been waiting for. We got what we've been waiting for. We wanted Sean Bradley to start because when Sean Bradley was on the field, he produced. And when Nathan Gary was on the field, he looked terrible. But let me just backtrack just a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't think Jim Schwartz put Nathan Gary in positions to win. So I don't want to put that all on Nathan Gary. You left him on the island. You know he was lost. And I believe Jim Schwartz probably knew he wasn't really ready. Why not give the young guys a shot? Why not give them a shot? Now they get a shot against a, you could say a weekend Cowboys team. And we'll see how they produce. We'll see how Sean Bradley produce. Hopefully, hopefully Davion Taylor gets some burn. Hopefully, these young guys get some burn, especially against a depleted Cowboys. We'll see how they play, but this is what we've all been waiting for. Even though Nathan Gary, all in all, if we look at his stats, he's having a more average season. He's not too bad. He's not too good. He's just average. Sometimes he's below average, definitely against that Rams game. But what I can say is Jim Schwartz was not putting him in the best best position to win. Sometimes he don't even put the best position uh, for big play Slay to win or even our corners to win. You see when the Razu Douglas go to the Carolina Panthers. See when the um, LJ Ford go to a, um, a Ravens. So sometimes it, it's not the player. Sometimes it's the coach not putting the players in the best position to win. And I feel like that might be was Nathan Gary's going through. But we'll see. We'll see. If Sean Bradley shows out, that might be his spot. That might be his spot. But we're going to watch him because Nathan Gary's on IR. Let's give these young guys a shot. I've been waiting for it. I've definitely been waiting for it once again. So what do you think? Or how do you feel about the Philadelphia Eagles news today? Do you feel like we should trade Derek Burnett? Do you feel like we should trade Will Parks? I say yeah. I just say yeah. Derek Burnett, I'm kind of hesitant on because once again, we're a little thin at defensive end, especially in the future. Unless we, of course, go on the draft. But in the future, we definitely will be thin because Derek Burnett is still very young. Will Parks, if you want to trade him, 
I agree with that. Like 100% agree with that. We got a Kayvon Wallace. I believe that can definitely play. He, to me, he did. He did okay. He he started basically, or they put him on George Kittle. They gave him a welcome to the NFL against George Kittle. It's not going to get any better than that. So I believe if he guards any other tight end, I believe he succeed. I believe he succeed. Just give him a shot. And um, how do you feel about the young linebackers possibly getting a shot? Sean Bradley or Davion Taylor. I believe it's their time, man. They can't be any worse than Nathan Gary. Just give them a shot. Get the young kids a shot. We've been seeing them get these young guys a shot. They've been producing. John Hightower. Happy Carson Wentz didn't give up on him. He got that 50 yard bomb. Carson Wentz just kept believing in the kid. Kept believing him. Travis Fulham, another young guy who's hungry, who who hasn't got his opportunities. He goes with a Carson Wentz. He looks amazing. He's looking like a what top five receiver in the league. So um, let's give these young kids a shot, man. Let's just give them a shot. Uh, this is Alcabeta Analyst. Ghost.